I tested four insulin coolers and in this video I'm gonna tell you which one you should get. Let's go. Thanks to For Our Family for sponsoring this video. They sent me all these coolers. Let's have a look. Just a quick reminder, you should store any unopened insulin vials or pre-filled pans at the temperature between 36 and 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Insulin that you are currently using can be kept at room temperatures for up to 4 weeks, but it should not be exposed to temperature above 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's exactly what these coolers are for. I'll start with this little baby cooler. This one is super light and fits perfectly in a beach bag. You can put two insulin pans in it along with the biogel cooling component. It will keep your mats cold for 12 up to 18 hours depending on the outside temperature. I really like this little guy. You can take it to a beach or a pool for several hours and your insulin or glucagon will be just fine. If you're looking for something bigger and more durable then you might want to go for the bigger brother. By the way the link down below and code type 1 talks will give you 10% down for all the coolers I talk about in this video. This bigger brother is a bit heavier and costs a bit more but you can squeeze up to three insulin pans or four insulin vials in there along with the biogel cooling component. It will also keep your meds cold longer for 27 to 35 hours to be exact, depending on the outside temperature. Whenever I know I'm going somewhere really sunny and really hot for the whole day, I would definitely opt for this cooler and not for the little one. This one is simply a bit more heavy duty cooler compared to his little brother. The third option we have here is this soft cooling case. This is again a very light option and quite convenient because it has an optional shoulder strap. And it's not all that expensive. Plus you can pack a lot in. I managed to squeeze in three pans and three vials along with the biogel cooling component. This soft cooler doesn't last as long as its metal brothers but it will still keep your mats cold for 10 up to 14 hours depending on the outside temperature. And a few hours at the beach is not a problem even in extreme temperatures. Now I like all three of these coolers. They're reliable, they come at a reasonable price and they don't pretend to be something that they're not. But I know that they will simply work. They will cool my mats, insulin and glucagon. But the winner, at least for me, is this portable mini fridge. Yes, you heard me right. It's an actual fridge. Before I tell you more about this mini fridge, I just want to give you a few tips for using these biogel cooling packs. The most effective way to cool them down is to simply put them in a freezer for six plus hours. And after you take it out of the freezer, leave it outside of the freezer for 10 minutes. Only after those 10 minutes, place it in a cooler. This is to make sure that your mats won't freeze. You never want to freeze your insulin because you would ruin it. Another tip, never leave your insulin even if it's in a cooler, in a car that's parked in direct sunlight because when you do it you will expose it to extreme temperatures and no insulin cooler can handle that kind of heat for a long time. When I'm at the beach for example I always cover my mats even if they are in a cooler with a t-shirt or a towel because I don't want them in direct sunlight. I want them to be in a shade, never in direct sun. When you're placing insulin vials in the cooler. I recommend using these vial protectors. They will keep the vials safe, vials will not break. You can get the vial protectors in the For Our Family store as well. Link to the store and the discount down below. Don't forget. And now my favorite cooler. This one is the biggest of them all and comes with two lids. A standard lid for when you're using the cooler with the biogel pack. And by the way, this way the cooler can accommodate six to seven insulin pans and up to eight insulin vials. And here is the other lid, a cooling lid. This one you can connect to the socket in a car or a hotel or to a USB charger via a USB cable that comes with it. And it cools the flask down just like a fridge. This is perfect when you're going camping and you have no access to electricity because you can take a USB charger with you and you can cool down your insulin in this mini fridge. And this thing is a beast. It cools everything down really fast. You can see that on the display because it shows the exact temperature in the mini fridge. And the cooling function turns off automatically when the temperature inside drops to 36 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what we want for insulin. You don't need to worry about the temperature going too low. With the cooling lid, you won't be able to squeeze in as many pans or vials, but you still get three to four pans in easily, depending on what kind of pans you have. The mini fridge also comes with a pouch and a shoulder strap in case you need to carry it around. Overall, this mini fridge is the most effective and the most heavy duty insulin cooler I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot. You will have to reach a little bit deeper in your pocket but I think it's absolutely worth it. By the way I will soon be comparing the best insulin coolers on the market this year and for all family coolers will be for sure part of that. You can watch that video here once it's ready so click it and watch it next. I will see you there. Ciao!